it's your boy DJ Academics, and now as the war in Chirac continues, uh, the Kuhn Olympic continues to go on. People are dying in record amounts, of course it's being celebrated, Kuhn packs are being smoked on, actually Negroes are actually getting them wholesale now, they're getting the Kuhn packs by the cartons. However, the war in Chirac is not only for the Kuhns that are doing the Kuhn Olympics, the Kuhn World Series, we actually have... Innocent people who are hiding in their houses. Hopefully the coons will die out. That regular peace can actually abide in um, Chirac. However, we do have some young boys. And young boys who are not savages. They're actually young boys who are trying to have fun. And they're trying to make a better way for themselves. And of course, their family. Now, 13 young boys from the south side of uh, Chicago. They went on a magical ride that led an all African-American team to basically the cusp of winning the Little League World Series. Now, they didn't win. They uh, lost to South Korea. Um, 8-4 to four was the score. However, the inspirational story definitely touched a lot of people who were invested not only in Chicago, but also within the rest of the U.S. It's inspirational stories, people who come from a not-so-good background. They're from a place where the most popular thing in Chirac is to die. Everybody goal in Chirac is to get killed, end up on a coon pack, end up on a free somebody t-shirt, end up on a RIP t-shirt, ultimately. Now, earlier this week, these uh, these young men or these young kids actually from Southside Chicago, they're, they're actually getting a lot of sponsorship. They got a $164,000 check from Dick's Sporting Goods. Which basically they kind of netted as part of uh, a fundraiser, as part of a t-shirt fundraiser that they did. It's going to benefit their league and hopefully it's probably funnel back into the community to help sponsor and also encourage programs just like this. I helped these 13 young kids out, but could probably also help other people out as well. Now, the city of Chicago did host a parade and a homecoming for their heroes. And these kids are heroes because they're doing pretty immaculate and very uh very outstanding things there was a big celebration it drew over 10,000 people and it was announced and then the, this is the mayor of Chicago they announced that they would be given or the the field that these kids play in within Chicago they'd be getting 6.5 million dollars worth of upgrades now both um Chicago's major league ball clubs they also and I'm talking about the White Sox and the Cubs they basically embrace the youth and they, they're they encouraging this positivity, which is trying to lead the youth. Because most of the guys that's doing the fucker in Chicago, they're little kids. They're 13 to 17 year olds. And they feel they're, they're immune to crime or basically since they're being told they're going to go into the juvenile system. If they commit crimes, they think it's cool to commit crimes. And they don't fear death because they think being dead is actually the end game. Now, these kids are working towards dreams, they're working towards goals. They're working towards a bigger picture, and they're clearly going in the right direction. And I'm glad that I could see that the mayor of the city is actually embracing them, and also the world and the country in general is embracing them. But now, while we do celebrate these kids, we can't forget about the hundreds and actually thousands of other kids within the inner city, the south side of Chicago, who don't feel like this, who actually just want to die. And hopefully these kids can be inspirations. Now, the thing is, when it comes to uh, uh, baseball, and this is how this is how remarkable the story is. Blacks nowadays only make up about uh, it's about eight percent of the major league baseball rosters. There's not many black people that really play baseball. Most usually go for football or they go for basketball. Baseball isn't where a lot of black people go towards. However, there's a lot of money within that sport. We saw Robinson Cano. Net basically a deal that has him looking at he's almost at three hundred million for and it's about like ten. That's a remarkable deal, and now that's a lot of money and for a lot of kids who do love sports and for the extra time they have instead of investing it into gang fuckery, coonery, working basically to reinforce all the stereotypes or negative stereotypes that other races have about black people, which I call Kunin, they would be then trying to work to try to get their families, themselves, their siblings, and other people who are around them out of a bad situation. 
Now, these kids, they have to be applauded. And I do applaud them. So, what do you guys think about this story? Uh, they didn't get the, the, the grand prize. However, they are being embraced because they came from a very difficult upbringing. However, they have made a positive out of something. They made something out of nothing. So, you guys get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. It's your boy DJ Academics. I'm out.